I think what people are looking for from this campaign and from this parliament is a change in the style of Scottish politics. A Scottish politics that's more humane, that's more responsive, that's more compassionate, enterprise and compassion. That's what the people are looking for from their own parliament. And the simple message that I want to give out is this. Scotland works better when Scotland works together. History will judge us harshly if on Thursday we fail to ensure we get the double yes vote that has been called upon today. What we have is a unique set of political circumstances to face a unique political and historic opportunity on Thursday. Surely this parliament in Scotland will be one of cooperation. But if all we do is replace the Parliament in Westminster, replicate it here in Edinburgh, then we will have failed in our task. This must be a Parliament that is open, that is accountable, that actually wants to involve people. And we have the new technology these days to actually make sure that people in all parts of Scotland can be involved in this great venture. And this entire issue is above and beyond any political party. It is Scotland's rightful heritage that its people should create a modern parliament reflecting the known characteristics of Scottish, that is enterprise and compassion with justice. I think Scots are looking for a new way forward, and I think part of this joint campaign is to ensure that they can see something different and they may start to like it. But of course, this new politics requires that we reach out to every part of Scotland. We are a nation of highlands and of lowlands and of islands. We are a nation of quiet rural villages, of bustling cities. We are a nation that contains peoples of diverse faiths and different ethnic origins. But we share the common bond of being members of the community we call Scotland. And Scotland's sense of unity will come from a proper acknowledgement that our rich diversity is our strength. And our greatness as a nation will flow from a recognition of each other's needs and from providing opportunities for everyone to fulfill potential and to contribute to the common good. John Steinbeck, in a, a letter to Jackie Kennedy, once said that, that Scotland wasn't a, a lost cause, that Scotland was a cause unwon. And now, as Sean has said, we've got 100 hours till the close of poll to win that cause. So blow the winds of freedom over me. I'm crying on my knees. And I just can't find the will to fight this never-ending war. Blow the winds of freedom over me. I'm dying. All my dreams are broken. I can't find the will to fight. Hey.